Good morning, good morning. How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all can hear me. Good morning. So the word is that Joe Biden is giving Afghans, Afghanistan six, six uh, billion, but African Americans get zero. Six bill, zero. But he's used the black vote. You know, he talked all that talk. Remember a year ago? If you don't vote for me, you're not black. You're not down. Can I use Michael Jackson's bad video? You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. If you don't vote for me. We're going to do stuff with George Floyd. We're going to have police reform. We're going to get reparations. We're going to talk about systematic racism. We're going, we going, we going. I want to. Can I do key sweat? I want that. Uh, uh. And a year later, crickets. What do you expect? Old white boys who go in the White House ain't got no time for no black folks. They more Archie Bunker. They're like Archie Bunker. The only thing black is they pants. And then they, you know, they have a good couple of Negroes that they like. But they're not going to do nothing as far as right the wrong. That would be too much work. And when you didn't had black folks working on the plantation called America for over 500 years, why would you change? If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. <clears throat> we might give you a museum. We might take down some of them racist Confederate statues. We feel like it. We might give you a cup of cookies and some milk. Heck, we might, you know, we might act like we kind of care. We'll let you wear gold medal around your neck. We'll let you perform at the halftime show, Super Bowl. We'll let you be a quarterback here and there. We might even promote you to general manager. Man, we give a couple owners. We'll let you wear all our merchandise. We'll just sell you on a Hollywood plantation, sell your streams. We'll give you some awards. <clears throat> we'll, 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 we'll give you that. But to make you an equal partner? <laughs> to say we sorry for enslaving you? <laughs> to say that we should break Wall Street in half and give half to African Americans because black folks should have a stake on the stock market? I'm not laughing when I say that. Yeah. I'm going to say something right now. Every job in the America, if you're a United States citizen, should have something set aside to take care of you when you get older. There shouldn't be this job that's an entry level or down level. It should be on all level. Now, I'm not saying that everyone will get the same pay. But if you're a United States citizen, your Social Security and what you contribute should be representative of that. And if you're black, there should be a make sure that you're compensated properly, see? Because the economic discrepancies are real and huge. But who do you have that's ever set forth to really right those wrongs? No one. No president has ever come in there and done that. And do you know why? Because they have to follow the accordance. Or if they don't, they won't live to tell it. And there is sure is no shame and profiting off black folks in their name. You we can talk about Dred Scott and I can go back. But ask yourself, has the Dred Scott reality changed? Especially when Afghanistan's come over here now. The America makes you hate folks. Even if you don't want to. They make you just have disdain. Because they treat you like garbage if you're black. Come over here. You get new clothes, new job, new ride, new whip, new hair, new everything. New identity. And that's the sad reality. Please hit the like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And um, this is just another reminder that you just don't trust these racist politicians, and it doesn't matter. You know what? <clears throat> Not that I thought much about old sleepy Jim Crow Joe Biden anyway. He can't even get nothing signed in his own party. So do you really think he's going to care about African-Americans? His own party can't stand him. I'm done.